What's up Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com and in today's video, I'm doing a follow-up video to Is That a Travel? So if you wanna watch the first video, and that's what I recommend you do, then you can click the little link that's up on the screen right now, watch that video, leave your comment there if you think that these two moves are a travel or not, and then come back and watch this video to see what the answers truly are. So there's two different moves. One's a spin move into a finish, one's uh, two steps into a finish, and I went and did all kinds of research to try to find the answers because I really didn't know, I was unclear on whether these are travels or not. And from the looks of the comments, it looks like a lot of you guys were unclear too. Sir, I got one question for you. What are those? So let's go ahead and take a look at what these two moves are. Okay, so for the spin move, the step that's in question is the final step. When I come here and I do a spin move here, and then I come into here and I step here and go up into my finish, is that a travel? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. And the second move is the slow two steps. My question is, are you allowed to take your last two steps as slow as you want? Okay, so can I come in here and go boom, one, two, uh, and then shoot the ball? Or can I take my first step even slower? Can I go boom, one, two, and then shoot it? And I did a whole bunch of research, so let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. Okay, so I was pretty disappointed to find out that yes, the spin move is technically a travel. Now, in the NBA, they never call it, and you'll never see that called pretty much in the NBA, but in college and high school, they call that a lot, and because technically, yes, it is a travel. They're saying that when the ball comes to rest in your hand, that is when you're picking up the ball. So if I come in here and do a spin move, boom, and, and I'm pulling that ball and having that ball stick in my hand, the ball has been in rest, okay? The ball is in rest here, so basically now, this is my pivot foot. So when I come here, boom, I'm pivoting off this foot. Now when I pick it up, I'm lifting my pivot foot, and as soon as this pivot foot hits the ground, it's a travel. As soon as I come here, boom, and finish, they consider that a travel, okay? Because I'm allowed to pick up my fit pivot foot like we learned in last week's video, where I can do a step through. Okay, I can come here, boom, and I can step through and pick this up and finish. I can lift my pivot foot, but it can never return to the ground. So on the spin move, boom, the ball's at rest. I picked it up. This is my pivot foot. I'm lifting my pivot foot, which is fine, but I can't put it back down. As soon as I put it back down, it's a travel. So what I recommend for trainers out there teaching the spin move and coaches and players using it is to shoot your spin moves off one foot. That's legal. So I can come in here, boom, spin move, and finish like that off one foot as long as I don't return that foot to the ground. So that's how I'm always gonna teach it from now on to try to help all the players I work with avoid traveling. I recommend you do the same thing. Okay, so for the slow steps, those last two steps that are really slow, I didn't find any exact answers on that, but what I think, in my opinion now, this is not factual because I couldn't find a direct answer anywhere online or I even asked a referee friend I know and he didn't know. So what I would say is you can take them slow. You can have these last two steps, one, two, and finish, but you have to continue with it. You can't just stop. I couldn't just come in here and go one, be here, and then go two, and then shoot it, okay? That's gonna get called for a travel. But from what I found online, there's no rule that says how fast those steps have to be taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and say on that one that that is not a travel. So yes, spin move is a travel, slow steps is not a travel. Okay, so on the last video, I left my comment and I said that I thought they both were not a travel, so I was one for two, because like I just said, the spin move is a travel, the slow steps is not a travel. So go ahead and leave your comment below on this video and let me know if were you one for two, were you two for two, were you zero oh for two? And I did a little bit better than I did last time when I was 0 for 2. So, all right, guys, leave your comment below. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. And also, there's a link on the screen right now. You can click to watch another video. I recommend you do that, and I'll see you guys inside that video.